नमस्ते वेलकमिंग यू इन दिस अमेजिंग सेशन अमेजिंग सब्जेक्ट कॉल्ड एज स्ट्रेटेजिक कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड परफॉर्मेंस मेजरमेंट विच आई सी आई कॉल्स इट एज एस सी पी एम स्ट्रेटेजिक कॉस्ट एंड परफॉर्मेंस मेजरमेंट अ पार्ट ऑफ सी ए फाइनल सेल्फ पेस्ड ऑनलाइन मॉड्यूल सो आई यू एक्साइटेड टू स्टार्ट दिस होल जर्नी ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट इन द फुल इंग्लिश मोड let the ball get rolling all right guys so very very interesting subject uh, shocking to know that this subject is a part of self paced online module because the core content that icai has put in this subject is beautiful and uh, it will be very interesting to teach you this subject to make you understand this subject to learn things from you and i'm sure you are equally excited to understand this now uh, obviously we know that this is a part of self paced online module so before giving the main core ca final examinations you have to clear this exam but only the may 24 students were exempted from this category and they were allowed to give it after exams as well so here we have the set b examinations and this will be a offline exam so offline as in icai will have its own center say national stock exchange or something like a big center wherein you will be able to go to the center give your examinations get the results probably uh, on an immediate basis and if you have cleared then you will become eligible for the main examinations all of these exams are going to be 100% mcq based and yes we will keep the batch also in that manner that you know 100% mcq focus is there now how this whole subject is divided today session is very you know easy going session so we will just discuss on what is the portion what is going to be my approach what should be your thought process whether after doing this uh, lectures will you be needing to spend more time or this will be sufficient so we will be discussing all of that the books that you are going to get omg i'm so excited to tell you about the books as well uh, and the whole content that i have picked up so all of this will be discussed today and from tomorrow so from tomorrow we will be starting with the chapters and all of that all right guys so today just relax back always keep a pen and paper ready whenever it's my lecture i don't you know if it's the book or my uh, optimized book or uh, mcq book is not there that's absolutely okay but one thing that i always want is a pen and a paper because whatever i write uh, make it a habit that you should also write it one because it will be uh, there in your subconscious mind and the other is that you will not go to sleep because if you are writing you are attentive and obviously you are active as well so that's the whole thought process right so these are the few things that we are going to discuss today kind of as i told you uh, intro to myself to the subject so that when we get started from tomorrow from the next session uh, we are on a proper level so myself ca sankalp kanstia by profession i am a chartered accountant and company secretary and uh, i have been teaching this subject for more than 10 years so i have been a part of jp morgan for 4 years a uh, uh, world's best financial based company i was there in their asset management and financial due diligence team definitely if, if post ca you also want to join any of such big companies definitely share me your cvs i'll try my best to get you into them so i had a very very good time those 4 years uh six rounds of interview is what i gave and then finally got selected four years i was with a very good team learned a lot of practical things related to management accounting related to finance uh, financial global financial world financial systems and that's what now i am going to incorporate with you uh, when i am going to teach you this subject so that's the reason i told you it's going to be interesting and uh, i will be sharing my real life examples as well okay so now on that note this was obviously about uh, myself and the passion for teaching then got me here because things were going good there but i always had this knack for teaching and wanted to make a career in that in this so i'm like chalo let's let's do it 
the last exam results that we had so last official exam where the marks were counted is november 23 and thankfully all india rank 1 cm adur jain was our student and more than 50% of rankers were from r and and uh, very very happy to part this subject on this high note now i'll obviously not say that yes i will make you a ranker because the marks are not going to count there but i always want that you should clear this exam in first go because otherwise there is a time which is involved for you there is a cost which is involved for you and both of that are extremely important especially for a ca final student so both these things i will ensure that they will not go waste and you will clear it in first go now for that we should know what is the content that we are going to study how we are going to study and that's what i am now going to tell you so offline 100% mcqs i will be completing all of that in a span of 100 hours and guys do you know what once this 100 hour session are over in fact even during the session what i am going to do is on my website now see this is going to be a 100% mcq exam so far you have never given a 100% mcq exam you have given an examination where 30% marks are mcqs uh, you have circled those things and everything all of that but now when you go to offline center there will be a computer and on that computer you will have to directly give the examination it may become difficult for you so for that what i have done is on my website webucate.in on my website webucate dot in see here you can uh, see the name i have created a portal wherein you can go log in and give the mcq examinations yes that's right but obviously once i teach you then we will upload the mcq you can go there at your convenience you can give the exam so that before giving the main ici exam you have this liberty of giving it here you will get used to it and then accordingly you will be able to manage the main ici ones definitely in a much much better manner all right guys so this is where you will have to go just directly type don't go on google and type directly type on your uh, website link the webuk.in log in and register yourself so that any new chapter we are updating any resources we are updating you will get to know from there itself okay guys yes now we are all set to understand the chapter names the relevance in terms of whether they are theory practical theory plus practical all of that is what i will be telling you all but 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 let me share you my details and i want you to share me one detail as well so this is going to be my contact number this is where you can drop me a whatsapp in case you do not get a reply be patient if you will get it you can just send me a reminder reminder 1 2 3 20 i'll not get angry but i will reply see what happens is that many a times i'm busy in my lectures so a lot of messages come i try to reply but at times you know there's a backlog or i may not be able to reply so you can just send me a reminder but i will definitely definitely reply to you for sure okay now what you have to send me is you have to send me your name just drop me a whatsapp relating to your name your location and you have to send me this yes i will clear it in first go clear what clear scpm in first go this is what you have to do why so that next time when you ask the doubt we are already connected with each other and uh, things will go in a much faster manner so that's the whole point nothing else so that's how it works uh in terms of syllabus if i say the syllabus is extremely important and interesting you will not believe that obviously as a chartered accountant our focus is always going to be the audits the taxations the financial reportings and all of that part but through this subject icai is going to introduce you to few things in fact a lot of things which will ensure that you are also thinking in this mba line you know the whole problem with us chartered accountants it is that we are very good with our academics and everything 
but you know what is going on in the market in practical world should also be known to us in the business world in the entrepreneurial world so to say should also be known to us and that's where this subject is going to come uh, a lot of students ask that sir previously it used to be scmp is it the same syllabus to an extent yes but uh, many new things have been added i was shocked to know uh, that when from this old syllabus to new syllabus came, I thought the changes will happen in uh, say a audit or FR or DT or some EFM or something. But there were hardly any changes in those four or five subjects. But the major change that has happened is in this subject. Yes, SCPM. More than 35 to 40 percent portion is new. So it's it's uh, very interesting. And I was like shocked to know that okay, previously I thought that okay institute will now start ignoring this subject, but not to be. The way they have developed the content, the way they have developed the MCQs and everything, boy, you are going to love it. We are going to ensure that we take it to the next level. But in those span of 100 hours, we, we, we do all of this. So that's how this whole uh, subject is. Now I will discuss the syllabus part with you in utmost detail. Yes. And the chapters that are going to be there are 13 chapters. Yes, 13 full chapters will be there. And one chapter is, the, there is also 14th chapter. With this 14th chapter is basically a case study chapter. So when I say a case study chapter, what it means is there will be a case study from either of these 13 chapters and it will be accumulation of all these chapters. So 14th chapter for me is not really, really a chapter as such but a manageable thing so 14 chapters and that's how this whole process of understanding will be now let's come to the main core and that is how the whole chapters are divided and then i will show you my book optimized and mcq book uh, how we are in alignment with the icai module and their mcq pattern okay so first, let's try and understand, not understand, just write the 13 chapters which are going to be there. As I told you, keep your pen and paper open. I know your books will always already have the introduction, uh, the, uh, you can say, the index and everything. But still you have to write with me. See, by writing, you are subconsciously powering yourself in understanding a lot of things in a quick manner. So first is going to be a bifurcation or a first book is going to be based on concepts. All right. So mainly theory, all chapters, theory and concepts are going to be in this book. Then there is going to be MCQ book. More than 1400 plus MCQs are there. ICA has probably 400 MCQs. 1000 I have added my own MCQs, making it a comprehensive. So beyond that, you don't have to look at anything else. And the last book is going to be the practical book with more than 100 plus sums. But sir, since it is a MCQ based examination, yes, why are we doing sums? Well, that could be one of the questions that is running into your mind. So I, for this, will show you the model test paper of ICAI. And if you see the model test paper, guys, then you will realize that, oh, the practical sums are equally important. So let, let me see where is the model test paper. Here it is. So say, see here, what, what, what they have said is that each question carries two marks each. Right? And look at this question. It is like a typical case scenario based question. Sums and all of this is there. And finally, the MCQs are there and then finally MCQs are there and for this MCQ we will correct the take the correct option and give our answer okay so that's how this whole subject is going to be divided strategic cost and performance management so that is why theory is so important uh, practical sorry is so important because see this this is a sum based on the chapter target costing a part, of a part of chapter 4, target costing is there. It is a sum based on this. 
Now, if you don't know how to solve this sum, you'll not be able to solve the MCQ. Say transfer pricing, a practical chapter fully. Now, if you look at it, then the whole solving of it goes into one or two pages. You will feel that I am giving an MCQ based exam. Why should I solve all of this? Because you want the final answer, which is based on steps which are there. So the old tradition of solving is there, but not systematic solving because eventually we need the final answer, MCQ based answer. And that's what our uh, you know end result will be. So all see so many questions are there, which are all practical based. See here again, practical based questions. So you should know how to solve a practical question only then you will be able to answer the MCQs. Okay, guys. So that's how the whole system works. Then uh, obviously based on theory also MCQs will be there. But as I told you, the practical part is also equally important. And I have exhaustively taken all of the stuff. So you don't have to bother for anything else. Now let's understand the subdivision of this subject SCPM. When I say you subdivision, I told you that I will subdivide this chapter into three parts. One is theory, one is practical, one is theory plus practical. Yes. So there are few chapters in which theory and practical both are there. There are few chapters only theory. There are few chapters only practical. All right. So that's how it works. Now, what are the chapters which is based only on theory? Please write it down along with me. I know there's an index available with you. Don't get into that trap where you have to write things. You have to write. Chapter number one is exclusively theory. And the name of the chapter is Introduction to Strategic Cost Management. Obviously, the basic concept uh, setter. Then we have chapter number five, which is exclusively theory. Chapter number five is Management of Cost strategically of emerging business models in the name itself tells the weight of this chapter so it is management of cost strategically for emerging business models for emerging business models okay then we have chapter 8 what is going to be chapter 8 it is going to be introduction to spm strategic performance management then we have chapter 10 and finally we will have chapter 11 chapter 10 will be strategic cost measures in non profit organizations so strategic cost measures in NPO. What is NPO? Non-profit organization. I'm sure you would know this. And then we have chapter 11. Chapter 11 is preparation of performance reports. Preparation of performance reports. So if you do these chapters they are exclusively going to be based on theory hardly any practical questions are going to be asked from this chapter then we move on to our next theme which is exclusively practical chapters if, if, if you see these chapters they are exclusively going to be chapter 12 and chapter 13 what is chapter 12 it is going to be transfer pricing what is going to be chapter 13? It is going to be standard costing. So these are the two chapters which are only only based on practical things. And the last is theory plus practical. So all the remaining chapters now which are left are going to fall in this category. What is it? It is chapter 2 modern business environment. See in depth and analysis and understanding I will be giving to you when we reach to this the real chapter so chapter 2 is there chapter 3 is there chapter 4 is there so what is chapter 3 it is lean system and innovation then we have chapter 4 and that is specialist cost management techniques so next is specialist 
कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट टेक्निक्स राइट ओके नेक्स्ट चैप्टर सिक्स एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू बी माय फेवरेट बिकॉज इट स्पीक्स ऑफ रेवेन्यू सो स्ट्रेटेजिक रेवेन्यू मैनेजमेंट नाउ इफ यू हैव अर्न रेवेन्यू you should also try to earn profit from that so chapter 7 is going to be strategic profit management this is going to be strategic profit management then we have the last which is left and that is chapter 9 which is strategic performance measures in private sector this is also a very nice chapter a superb combination of theory plus practical one of the most important chapters as well as a lot of questions will be asked from this chapter anyways we have to give weightage to all the chapters equally and ensure that we are clear with all of them now let's understand the book part let's understand the book part so obviously the first thing that you would want is that whether the book covers everything so but obvious see theory book is exclusively based on icai module all right guys so theory is exclusively based on icai module so here i write down so this is what you want because end of the day your uh, mcqs and everything will be based on this so 100% icai module coverage 100% icai module coverage so sir do we need to purchase the module icai module absolutely no if you have purchased my book there is no need to purchase anything else whatsoever let me be very clear about this okay done so once this theory is done then we move on to the next and that is the mcq book the mcq book guys has 1400 plus questions yes i'll show you how the whole excel and then we have practical based questions 100 plus practical based questions done more than sufficient i can assure you guarantee you that once you are done with this nothing else to be done from your end and all of this we will be covering in our uh, lectures itself so you don't have to worry for anything else now just look at this huh? just look at this content icai mcq 80 sk mcq additional ICI MCQ 20 SK will cover you by ensuring that we have almost three times as ICAI's uh, MCQs 17 120 425 425 and R itself R SK MCQs are itself more than 1000 and you will not believe that all of these are in house made so there is a chance that even ICAI may want to pick few things from here but yes. definitely it will be very very helpful to you on a long term perspective plus in case i have to add any more mcqs or anything i told you webuket.in there we will be giving you practice questions for mcqs so you can go through there as well all right guys so i think that that will be a very very good thing and as i told you 100 plus practical questions to be covered here so in terms of books i am very excited to present the books to you i am waiting that the moment you have the books in your hand it's going to be a total different experience you will be looking forward to understand and learn more about this subject and today we are going to start with the subject modern business environment as in just trying to give you an idea of modern business environment just how the whole uh, theory book looks like so first we start with a preview the preview will comprise of again icai module content of all that we are going to cover in this stock then there is a study mentor which will be specifically very helpful to students who are giving paper 6 because in paper 6 ibs uh, you will require open book questions now suppose for example there is a question on a point 8 six c's of tqm so what you can do is here i have given you a study mentor a kind of a index you can directly go to this index and go to page number 5 as soon as you come to page number 5 you will see there is 6 c's of tqm and here we go it's done you can use your answer for your ibs open book exam and even for your studying this will be very very helpful 
so i think that's it that's about it in terms of the books content mcqs i can show you i told you all that 1400 plus mcqs are there so we will be try to solve all of these mcqs in the class few i feel that can be solved by you you can try it on your own it will be interesting stuff that we are looking forward to right guys so done plus the practical ones now as i told you all that the practical questions are there we will solve it in the typical practical manner but they will ask it in the form of an mcq so you have to answer it that way so say here the answer probably they may ask is what is the maximum rejection rate example and the answer will be 3% so but you will have to solve this question right so i will teach you the solving part i will show you the shortcuts that how mcqs you know you will have to select the mcqs all of that is what we will also follow okay so that's how the whole uh, system looks like and uh, we have to follow all of these things so practical book is done theory book is done right and mcq book is done now how are we going to approach this subject that is going to be so very important right so i will have a typical style of teaching that first i will give you some examples probably or a story relating to the concept and using that example or story i will drill the concept in your head and from there we will be able to solve the practical question or mcq as the case may be okay that also so now i think i have almost discussed all of the points uh that were there so three books is what you will get from our end full 100% icai coverage next session we start with a chapter and uh, we will have two things mcq 400 icai ones 1000 plus sk ones okay in case you have any doubts i have given you my number you can ask the doubts there anytime any place and we will ensure that we do a lot of practice so that we clear this exam in the first go itself and secure ourselves for the next journey of ca final okay guys so this is it from my end in terms of the intro session i hope all of the points that were in your head are uh, pretty much clear all of the things that i am writing here will be uploaded in the google drive so you can download it from there the lectures will be there uh, so all of that is what you will get in that google drive anything else you have my number you can just drop me a whatsapp we'll stay connected and time for me to say hasta la vista keep smiling in case any of your friends is looking to join you can tell them uh, right away so that they can also start their spom scpm journey keep smiling thank you so much bye bye